Hi guys, welcome back. This is FSX404. Today I'm going to go over GPS navigation. Despite what you may believe, GPS navigation involves a little more than creating a flight plan and following the magenta line on the GPS. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to properly follow the GPS flight plan. Because GPS navigation involves different GPS equipment uh, for different airplanes, I will use the same GPS flight plan for three different airplanes each one of them having a different instrument for tracking the GPS. I won't just press the shift 3 uh, and ring up the GPS and follow the magenta line. The GPS display is actually only used to confirm our position. I will use either the VOR gauge, the HSI gauge or the uh, CDI in the glass cockpit airplanes for all GPS navigation. Some of you guys that may know this stuff you're gonna say this is pretty easy, I already know this, but for some of you other guys are probably saying, Gents, what the hell are you talking about using a VOR gauge to track your GPS? Uh, I'll go over this stuff in a little bit, uh, but first, the three different planes I will use for this tutorial will be a Coronado Cessna 182, in which I will use my VOR gauge to maintain my uh, GPS flight path. Uh, the second plane will be a Beach 1900C, or Charlie in which I will use the HSI to maintain the uh, GPS flight path and the last plane will be the Quest Kodiak in which I will use the Garmin Glass Cockpit CDI to follow my uh, GPS flight path. Quick note guys, AmeriFlight is very special to a lot of us here in Southern California because AmeriFlight is the airline that will hire a lot of uh, Southern California flight instructors give them their first, first officer and captain positions, chairs uh, from which point they will start moving up and on into their careers. This is the case with my flight instructor, soon after I got my private pilot license in 1996, she was hired by AmeriFlight. This is also the case with my second flight instructor, the flight instructor that got me checked out in a conventional gear airplane. Soon after I was done with uh, getting checked out in my conventional gear airplane, he was hired by AmeriFlight. So, personally, I think they owe me a few free flights because I'm their good luck charm, or uh, as they would tell you, they're actually good flight instructors, they're both great. Uh, happy tailwinds, guys. So the flight I'm going to do today for all three airplanes is going to be the same flight. It's going to be a flight from Long Beach to Catalina, KLGB to KAVX. Uh, and I'm going to add some GPS intercept points in between just so I can navigate and show you how to navigate. If we look to the right, we can see the, the points. Uh, it's going to be Long Beach, KLGB, uh, Driffy, Holtz, and then KAVX, Catalina. So if we go into the nav log, we're going to see the headings we're going to have to fly to these points. Now we need these headings because we're going to put these headings on our uh, heading bugs, on our VOR heading bug and uh, on our HSI heading bug. The glass cockpit GPS is uh, automatic. So from Long Beach to Driffy, we're going to fly a heading of 183. From Driffy to Holtz, it's going to be a heading of 232. And from Holtz to Catalina, is going to be a heading of 179. Now let's go back one more time into our flight planner because uh, as you can see the, I've set up the airplane just holding short of the runway 25 left at uh, Long Beach Airport. So the way we're going to depart from uh, runway 25 left at Long Beach for Driffy, uh, we're going to do a left downwind departure. This is straight out of my uh, VFR departure procedures tutorial. So we're going to take off on runway 25 left, we're going to turn on crosswind and we're going to turn on left downwind and then we're going to intercept the flight path to our first point Driffy then on the flight path we'll follow it all the way to Catalina so I'm going to do each one of these flights individually I'm not going to do the whole flight I'm just going to do the basics of it the basics of the GPS navigation uh, if you guys have any questions you can always ask me and I'll answer them the best I can I hope you guys watch the video I hope you enjoy it so you take care guys and uh, thanks for watching